so guys basically what you're doing right here we're going to just see of course how to create text fields and labels and display them okay this is a starter tutorial in java effects so text field this is right here of course how to display them and then set some text to them so let's get started so yeah the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to come right here create our class is i'm calling mine my text field is just a basic class now we're going to make this class first we're going to add some imports okay into our project so we'll go ahead add the imports these are java effects imports you're going to have then of course by the way you can use whatever IDA you like for me i'm using the visual studio code okay then of course i compile uh, using the command line so what we're going to do right here we're going to make this mutex field extend the application so we have it extend the java effects dot application dot application then of course we're going to first create a start method this is actually the entry point for java effects applications now as you can see it's taking in a stage object first and foremost we're going to instantiate a scene and then of course pass it a group okay so we pass in a group instance and then we specify the width and height of our scene okay then of course we're going to set the title for the stage this is basically the title for our window then of course we're going to instantiate the text field so text field name txt equal to new text field then of course we come text field proper and txt equal to new text field these are the two text fields we're going to have then we're going to set their text so name txt to set text we set the name and then of course we set the proper and as well then grid pen we're going to instantiate the grid pen so grid pen grid equal to new grid pen then once we've done that one we're going to set the v gap okay to 5 and then h gap to 10 then we're going to set our padding we pass in an inset subject of course with the 5 right here now we're going to add of course instantiate a label and then add it to a grid using the add method okay so this is the text we're going to have in our grid and this is the position for our grid uh for our label within the grid then of course we're going to come right here and then grid dot add then of course we add our name txt okay then of course we come right here we also do the same with our label at the second label then you can see the position okay zero one then of course the propellant txt just next to each one one then of course once we have that one we're going to get the group from our scene so scene dot get root then we cast it to group so we're going to have it as the root so root dot get children then we add our grid of course then we set the scene right there scene dot set scene we set the scene then of course we're going to show the stage so b this is basically showing the window so stage dot show and this is going to show our window now once we've done that one we're going to come to our main method so the main method right here so of course as with all java projects there is normally of course the main method so as with all java programs we normally have the main method okay so yeah likewise this project we're also going to have our main method okay so this is basically the launcher method the method that will get executed first when our application is run so we come right here it's a static method of course called main okay and then of course string args as an array of strings is what will be passed then we come application dot launch we launch our arguments okay so application dot launch is going to launch of not launching our arguments sorry we pass our arguments and then launch our application that's all we need to do guys let's run the project and see our result and of course if we run the project this is what we're getting right here you can see we have our beautiful text fields as well as labels okay so yeah that's it like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class